Welcome to Wolfie and Chill, the show where I sit down with a cup of tea, and you get to witness it. I'm going to take a break from doing the worlds because I have had this sat here since I downloaded this mod and I still haven't looked at it. Complete each step in the epic quest chain for an awesome gem reward. I have no idea what this entails, but there's 10 levels of it, so I thought, you know what? I got time. I got a tea. We are going to hit these 10 levels. I hope this isn't going to be like another tutorial. I hope this is going to... I mean, we'll find out. Attention user Dave, I have audio detected a large stash of zombie gems. Heard the hordes hoard. So what is it? It said like 25 gems as a reward. Is that for completing each level? Is that just for completing the whole thing? Because if I'm about to go through these whole 10 levels for 25 gems, that's barely even worth it. This one's a last stand. Okay. This is a throwback in itself. That doesn't look like an especially hard wave. I'm not going to lie. We're going to hit this. How we've always hit these last stand waves. You know how we do. Repeater. Scroll a million miles down to find Torchwood. And I could just call it a day there. In fact, you know, let me just press a bunch of random plants. Fill it up. This is how we're doing it. They haven't actually given me a whole lot. That's the only thing. Let's get a row of repeaters. And then I've probably got enough. Am I actually going to... I'm not even going to have enough for... Oh, I'm not even going to have enough for five Torchwoods. Okay, I could have thought this through a little bit better in hindsight. Okay, but... I've got enough for a shrinking violet. That'll do. Well, I hope that one repeater in the middle is going to get work done. I might have to use the three plant foods there if need be. This is where they're not sending like particularly strong stuff, but they're going to send like a billion of each. And I don't like how they've sent all of these guys first. Kind of makes me feel like I should have brought laser beam. Or perhaps... Lightning Reed. Lightning Reed probably would have been alright. But I'll tell you what I could do. I could stick an escape route there. Okay, I might, I might have to redo this one. I think I've messed up. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this with run, one repeater and four torchwoods. Because I was thinking like I could use the escape route and just do shit like that. And just make them swap places whenever I need to. But I don't think that's going to fly. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. We're going to restart. Wait, I'm not allowed to bring light. What the hell am I supposed to do this with then? Oh, okay, now hang on, hang on, hang on. Now I'm suddenly a little unsure as to what to do. I could use Fuzzy. There is that. And I am allowed to bring EP. But I don't think EP is going to work quite the same, is it? I could always go Fume Shroom. That's an option. Kind of a tempting option. In fact, you know what? Let me try that real quick. Let me try Fume Shroom. See if that works. I don't know how many of these levels are going to take me, like, multiple attempts, so this is going to be, uh, interesting, to say the least. But if I get down as many of these as possible, I should be able to get down at least, like, how many more can I put down? A middle. Oh, I can't quite afford the last two. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you what I can do. I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time with the escape route, which is kind of funny because that's in there by complete accident, but we're going to pretend like it was intentional. So we'll go escape route. I don't know if I need two of them. Maybe I'll get down two of them. And then, yeah, I can just kind of swap the back lane ones however I feel like it. So yeah, we'll go escape route there. And yeah, whenever I need them to swap, we can just go ahead. Life is good. Oh. So how are you guys doing? How's your December been? I'll tell you something interesting. I actually have an advent calendar this year. I have not had an advent calendar in as long as I can remember. I genuinely couldn't tell you the last time I actually had an advent calendar. But I thought I caught myself one this year. It's uh, Kinder Bueno. So I don't know if you guys like Kinder Bueno. You know how I know Kinder Bueno is the best shit ever? Because even the dark chocolate one tastes good. I don't normally like dark chocolate. I don't know if that's a cardinal sin to say that, but... Apparently I'm weird for liking white chocolate. In an ideal world, I'd just go milk. Like, milk milk does me fine. I probably didn't need the escape routes, honestly. I want to know what happens if I plant food it. Oh. What a waste of a plant food. They have to send so many of these things. 
See, where I kind of cocked up here is the fume shroom thing is working, but it's going to take longer because the range on this thing isn't that high, so... It shouldn't be a problem, though. All I need to make sure is that they are strong enough to deal with the cone heads. Which they should be. If it was bucket heads, then I'd be a bit more concerned. But cone heads aren't that bulky, so... Have you never seen a Wolfie in Chill? By the way, this is basically what we do. It's uh, effectively a video that I don't have to edit. Although I, I normally end up editing them a little bit. Because I, I kind of can't help it. <laughs> I don't think I could upload a video completely just untouched. I don't know if I have it in me anymore. Maybe back in the day. I mean, back in the day, that's all I used to do. I remember when I used to... Uh, I used to be one of them guys back in, like, 2010, making, like, Call of Duty and Goldeneye commentaries, where you would, like... You would film your best kill-death ratio game for that day, and then just do, like, a one-take on the microphone, just talk over it for four minutes, and then just, like, put it all in, and just render the whole thing out and just chuck it up. Well, back when I started doing that, I didn't even have a capture card. You wanted to see how we did it back in the day. We used to, um, I would have like my desk here and I would like get a load of PS2 cases or Xbox cases, whatever I had. I would stack them up to like the middle of the screen. And then you just stick a little digital camera on top and you literally film the TV and that's how you would do it. What's this one? Oh, it's one of these ones. I haven't done this in a minute. Did we even... Oh, they're fast. Hold on, hold on. Wait, whoa! Did we even do one of these in the... Uh... Are they going to be moving really awkward? Did we even do one of these when we... Um... Did Pirate Seas Reflourish? Was that even a thing? I don't recall doing it. Yeah, mate. Back in the day, with a flipping digital camera, man, them days hit different. I remember I got my first capture card. It was a really crack. It was a dazzle. And this thing was like... Oh, man. If I could show you how bad this thing was. Like, imagine watching my videos now in, like, 240p or 140p. That's basically what it looked like all the time. And when I first got it, I couldn't figure out how to get the color working. So I had to film about, like... I had to upload about 20 videos in black and white. And I think at one point... I thought I could bullshit my way around the problem by putting this, like, little filter over the video that made it, like, black and blue instead of black and white. And I really, honestly thought I did something. Just wasn't quite as high-tech back then for, you know, you didn't have El Gato back then. You had, like, a HD PVR, which you needed, like, a billion different cables to get working properly. You didn't really use HDMI back then. Like, to get one of them things working... It's like a whole different ball game. That's a good shot. Or not. Big hit. I keep getting times six. That's a big one. Times eight. Okay, better, better. Lagging a bit. Seven. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to get this. Consistent on the sixes. You can't knock me for that. Oh, that was about to be a huge one if that didn't get in the way. Nine. Three! That voice crack. Uh, we might get this. We might get this. I've got a bit more time than I thought I had. But that should have been more than a three. That was one. Twelve! That's better. Now we're talking. Bosh. Eleven. Bosh. <laughs> Four. Another 12. 9. So close. That will do very nicely. I'm going to AFK the rest of this one. I don't even care. Okay, no, I can't just AFK the rest of it. Let's try and... Let's go for a high score. Make it to 69,000, because... Funny number. Oh, piss... No, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, I have to. I have to. Oh, so close. 68,000. You go over, hit you up, and then, like, you want a 68? Exactly. How would you 68? Would you... That would just be, like, 69-ing a... <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I was about to say, you're going to try and 69 a snowman. That's what a 68 is. Congratulations on beating my score. I'm not bitter. I'm not saying you cheated. Cheater. 
Enough bickering, we've got gems to save. You don't? So you really- you're just gonna give me 25 gems? For beating this entire thing? What is- nah, come on, man. That is a bit piss poor. I'll be doing one of these ones, okay. Uh... I don't really like to do this with Colonel Pulp, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I mean, I'll do it for the content, but like 25 gems for doing all of this? Really difficult, this one, so far. These ones just take ages, like... Some of these levels just go so slow. I reckon... I'm not sure what else they're gonna plan, they're gonna give me. So I'll just use all of these back ones for Colonel Pulse. And maybe they'll give me something that's a bit more close range. I'll do the first one he flung was a butter, mate. My face when I'm playing iZombie. <laughs> Every single time. You ever get them ones? You're trying to take out that one lane with the Colonel Pole in it, and it just flings butter every single time, without fail. Look, it's still doing it now. There. We can cover all the lanes with this. Beautiful. I'm so glad this isn't an iZombie level, because I would have rage quit already. I would have been like, called it a day. 20 minute Wolfie and chill. It's probably not even been 20 minutes. I've been recording for 20 minutes, but... Oh, they're sending two in that one. Okay, ooh. Let's double up in that one for a little bit. Let me kill one of them, and then I'll switch lanes. That's close enough. I think you can take it. I quite like the one level we did in the Wild West where I had to, like, redirect chickens with the... How is it we did it? I was having to redirect chickens with the garlic and then, like, send them back with the hypno shroom. That was kind of clever. That was kind of a cool one. Good stuff. All right. Are you going to give me something other than Colonel Pult? That will be a resounding never. I'll put it there because I can see a cone head coming in the middle. Yeah, bundle the cone heads and then we'll deal with the rest. Bro, they're taking hits. Um. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, we're going to have to do this a really weird way. Oh, I may have fucked up here. I'm going to have to play real smart here. Perfect. I could be in serious trouble. I think I'm about to die. I'm actually about to fail this level. Damn it. I actually failed. Really thought they just hit me with a brain dead electric gate level. Clearly not. How could I have done that differently though? Do I need to just manage the spacing better or? I needed more of that. That's what I needed. Needed more of that bullshit eye zombie luck. Just giving me butter every single time. Because the problem with sweet corn is it's the most pointless food in the world. You, you know how you, like, your body doesn't even digest it? You eat sweet corn and you just shit it back out. Is there actually any reason to eat sweet corn other than to make your shit look colorful? I would genuinely like to know. Are we gonna make it this time? I think we are, I think we... I mean, I'm having to rely on the butter a lot here, but... I think we might actually... Bear in mind, this is the halfway point, but we made it. We made it through a conehead wave. How much worse is it going to get now? They're just, they're just sending more of them. Okay. Um, get an extra one here. Right. Gang up. Oh, let's go all five on this one. We need to, like, get rid of them as quick as possible. That has to be the rule. Okay, now we move these two up. In fact, let's move this one up as well. Mm-hmm. That's it. Move them two down. Right now, move these two up. See? Micromanaging. Just need this one to die. That's it. Okay. 
I'm waiting for that bucket head. I know it's coming. You know damn well it's coming. Oh, bonk choy. Yes. Now we're talking. Now you are speaking my language. Because what I can do with that is I can just wait for them to pass. And then just hit them from behind. Said the actress of Bishop. But no, no, no. Do that. Move them up. Yeah, we got it. Easy money. So you're hitting different now. You're giving me a bonk choy. Because that coupled with the butter as well is really good. Give me another one. Yes. Good. There's the bucket head. I knew it was coming. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. All hands on bottom lane, please. To just kill this thing as quick as... But look at... Oh my God. <laughs> kill the bucket head. Needed that. Come on. So keep renewing it. Good. This is going to be the last one coming up. Don't think so. It'll be this one and then one more. Oh, I've already lost that bonk choy. Sick. Well, lasted. Okay, let's go. Good, good. Yeah, I got this one down now. Well, I love how this is only the third level. We're like, I'm going to put this one here controversially. Just because I don't want it to die instantly, so. Bonza. Okay. Step three. Cannot tell you how excited I am to get my 25 gems at the end of this. So excited, I'm not even going to spend them. Because I have nothing to spend them on. Survive while sun bombs fall. Ooh, you know I love these ones. What world are we on next anyway? Isn't it, um... Bro, is that me? What are we on next anyway? Isn't it Dark Ages or... I'm not sending anything too mad, although this guy with the laptop, I have absolutely no idea what he does. This looks like a modern day plant that I haven't yet seen, which is a bit concerning. Maybe we just go for something cheap and cheerful, like... Like Roto. And Puff Shroom, because it's free. I can't remember the name of the outfit. I'd make a joke about it, but my memory does not serve, I'm afraid. So we'll bring Ian Peach. We'll bring Tumbleweed. Iceberg Lettuce. And let's see how this goes. I just want to know what the laptop guy does. He's got me intrigued. Does he, like, download porn to your game? And you just get banned? You're coming. Yep. Well, that's generally what happens at the end of the video, so... <laughs> I need to stop. The more I can use the puff shrooms to get this done, the more I can just save up. I'll put a space Johnny, like, right here. Oh, I forgot I got the earmuffs for the, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot I got the earmuffs for my little, uh, iceberg layers. Ugh. I probably didn't need to do that. I'll start putting rotos down. And I'll blow these two up. Bosh. He's nicking the sun- Nah, man, what the hell? He's nicking the sun bomb. But he's gotta go. How do I get rid of him? Bro's literally stealing the sun bomb. No, that ain't right, man. That ain't right. Can I at least... No, okay, hang on. Can I set it off while he's... Oh, see, now that is interesting. I can set off the sun bomb while he's bringing it in. Oh, I kind of want to let him do it now. That could actually be a decent shout. I left this too late. Shit, I'm gonna have to push you back behind the barrier, please, sir. Uh, Blover. Okay, that one was mid-explosion. I couldn't exactly stop that one. I should really use these power tiles at the back. Uh, I'll put an iceberg lettuce on it. Ooh, do that. 
Or raw tool. That's kind of working, you know. I'm not even going to lie. That is actually working. I'm trying to think what I could actually flip in. What have I even got that I could put on the power tiles? I didn't really bring... I didn't bring anything for the power tiles. There's no point putting Puff Shroom there because... If I put Puff Shroom there, his plant food's not going to reach. Roto's plant food is going to go at the wrong angle. So that ain't going to hit shit. I don't know. This just ain't really going to... It's not really going to work like that. I might just have to ignore them, to be honest. I'll just have to ignore them, I think. Oh, that's... Oh, they're the... Um, they're parachute zombies, basically. How did they get burnt? I hit them with an iceberg lettuce. Not... Okay, fair enough. I guess ice burns technically are a thing. I've heard that. Can't say it's ever happened. Can't say I've ever been burned by ice. It's a bit like saying... I was frozen by that candle. Okay, that one's just stuck in place. Okay, so once they've started getting at the sun bomb, once they've started their little tractor beam, then you can't really do anything with it after that. I guess it could stall and you could just wait for it, but that's more effort than it sounds like it's worth, to be honest. Set that off right there. Excellent. Oh, we got this one easily, because I can just renew the barrier if need be. It was a good shout bringing that. Do a little tractor beam. I tried to set it off. Hold on. Spam click. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't get him, though. How about this one? I'll piss off. I got that in time. Let's just do that again. Nope. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, I short-circuited the laptop, and that's what burnt him. How much power does that laptop run off? This is where we just go. One. Two. Done deal. Not even halfway yet. It's taking a minute. It's going to be a long Wolfie and Chill. What's the longest Wolfie and Chill we've ever done? Because I wouldn't really count a live stream. I've done that before, where I've live streamed, and I've just left the VOD up. I wouldn't count that. Oh, we're on Dark Ages. Oh, this is this is a this is a preview. This is this is what I got to look forward to. Um, well, no, I'm allowed to bring some production. So, survive while potions boost the zombies. Well, how can I kind of like just quickly? Don't suppose time warp would reset that, would it? And I can't destroy the potions either, can I? Well, I might as well figure this out now, otherwise I'm just gonna have to figure it out the next time I play. Fuzzy and Lightning Reed. Yeah. Can't necessarily do anything about the potions, but maybe if I can get rid of them and then replace them with Spike Weeds. Perhaps that's an option. Cherry Bomb. And I mean, I guess... This one's going to take a bit of setup cost, so let's do that as well. See if that works, honestly. Something's got to work. Just kind of feel like you need, at this stage, when the levels are getting this difficult, I've kind of found that you ought to just have piercing plants, really. Like, even Roto's not really cutting it anymore. He's about to hit three different potions. I'm dropping a guava there, and I don't even care. This man's about to get cracked. He gets bigger. And then he's going to get bigger again. And then what? Even bigger. This best kill him. And he's faster as well. And he still died straight away. Oh, I love Lava Guava. This is the nighttime world, isn't it? Which means... I don't think... I don't think any sun falls from the sky. I think I just have to produce the sun myself. This is about to get weird. This is about to get really weird. At least we got that. That didn't cost me a dime. Do that. Because I want that sun. And then it spawns another one. Great, thanks. That's just awesome. Let's try that. 
I'm not even sure that's going to hold. Actually, let me guava, guava, guava. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill him! That's it. Mary Poppins could be a problem if I can't do anything about that. I might just leave her, honestly. I've got my lawnmowers. Let me just leave her. My sun production's piss poor, though. Because that's actually how it's working. Because it's... This is like PVZ2's version of nighttime. Or their answer to it. So there's no sun just dropping from the sky. I'm having to get everything from Sun Shroom. So I'm going to have to get way more down. Way more. Fuzzy's coming in clutch though. Already. Can already tell that. Just buy me that time. I think Fuzzy do be kind of saving my ass here a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. If it wasn't for Fuzzy, like, slowing him down, I think I'd be dead. See, if in doubt, Fuzzy Lightning Reed always gets it done. Surprised how easily these guys are going down as well. Aren't these supposed to be the Jurassic Marsh Knights? The Skull Heads, whatever you want to call them. So we do that. And then say to hell with it. Wabosh. No, we go again. Wabosh. Good doing business. And that is officially the halfway mark. I need a piss. Second half of the video says changing the background color. It's more like it. Half of it on plants, half it on zombies. Hmm, it's bowling. It's bowling. God, have I got this to look forward to when I get to Big Wave Beach? It's gonna hit so different. Hitting Big Wave Beach like as early as we're hitting it. I can only imagine what joys await me there. To the left of... I did... That was to the left of the line, you nerd. What, okay, so to the left of the line, but not there. Which ones are the most powerful ones? Isn't it the orange ones? Were you Sonic? Were you Sonic? I mean, the most powerful ones, obviously, the uh, electric ones. I say we save those as much as possible. Kill him? Nope. How about now? It would have been lovely if you bounced the other way. Let's throw one of these down here. What the? F it hit something at the end there, but my god. I got really unlucky. Low tide's good. We like low tide. Because that just means that they come up sooner and I can hit them sooner. I wonder if I'm more beneficial just using these as quick as possible. Because sometimes that's how it works in these conveyor belt ones. Like the quicker you use your stuff, like the quicker you get it back. I used that in the wrong lane. Well done, Cam bollocks. Okay, well, we're gonna have to just do this. Right. I don't just want to go for an electric one in the middle, straight up. Use it now. Oh, you're supposed to bounce the other way. You didn't do as you're bloody told. Now then. They're not sending gargs in this one, are they? Because I ain't got time for that. This one's going to have to be an electric. Oh, is it so hard to bounce up? Try again. They're having none of it. They're having absolutely none of it. Fine. They're just determined. That's why I like doing it in the, uh, the top and bottom lane. Because then it's like, you know where it's going to bounce. Bucketheads take too many hits. I took like five different balls just to kill them two. I'm going to have a sip. And as soon as they flip in, as soon as they come up, the tide comes back in. Um, now we hit this. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, definitely electric there. Go. Oh, we got good value out of that one. So much good value, they gave me a coin. They gave me some knuts. Which ones were the gold ones, actually? I'm referencing a series that we did years ago, but 
Some of you know. If you know, you know. Can't have to do that. Beautiful. We got this. Easy. Bosh. Is that imp just going to stay there and just... That's the end of the level? Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. That one just doesn't count. I'm sure there are much worse things awaiting me in Big Wave Beach, but how do I even decipher this? Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. It's going to be just hot potato, isn't it? Nothing but hot potato. Yep. Get five of them, though. So... We got to think about what do we want to... It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. We go that Snapdragon, that Snapdragon, and that's going to, like, unfreeze... Unfreeze. That's going to thaw out, like, all of this. Or it should. Is that not how it works? Does Snapdragon not do the whole heating the stuff around it up, or... I guess not. Let's do the spike rocks, I guess. Let's do all the spike rocks. Because they can kind of carry a little bit on their own. Yeah, preferably not when you immediately freeze them again as soon as I use the hot potato. What's this here? Is this just... Oh, they're potato mines. I don't even... You can't even see them through the ice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit, heat. We need to... Do it again. Okay, so that's a strategy. Every time it refreezes everything, coconut cannons, bosh, bosh, bosh. We now have to do it now. I don't even really think I need to do the rest. Nice. I wonder if I use one of the lawnmowers, it would instantly unfreeze everything in that lane. It's basically gone cold by now. Let's see? They're freezing my shit so much in the level, it's made my tea go cold. Oh, that's a gog. Yeah, we want to thaw it out quick. So we can deal with that. I want no plant food, so... There we go. We need to thaw out that char god. That's it. Good. That should hold him at bay. Boing. Ah, this is where it's going to get difficult. Actually, no, it's not. I could just do this. Sorry, Garg. I oh, know I cheesed it. Oh, now you give me a plant food. Yeah, real helpful. Let's just... Just so I get my money's worth. That didn't even get rid of the ice on the... Oh, okay. It's a different kind of fire. It's like theoretical fire. Now we're back in the Lost City. Hmm. So now I know what the laptops do. What's the setup? What's the setup? These just produce a bit of sun when you put stuff down on them. So that's kind of, you know, it's helpful. Shovel guys are there. Mary Poppins is also there. We're going to have to lightning read Fuzzy again. Because I don't think anything else is going to work. Anything that's overhead, Mary Poppins is going to block that. Anything that's just a regular projectile. Shovel Boy is going to block, so... We could bring Celery Stalk, or we could finger his bum hole. But he might not be into that. And I wouldn't want to make him feel uncomfortable. Do you know what I'm going to do for this level? Just because we're never, ever, ever going to do it again, ever. I'm going to bring <laughs> the flipping gold leaf. Just so we can use it. I'll feel bad if I never use it. I'm going to bring Reg Sunflower for this one, actually. I'm telling you what, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Rather than use Fuzzy... We're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to use Mistletoe. Now that I know what Mistletoe is supposed to be used for, I'm going to bring Bommy Granite as well. I kind of like using that thing. Yeah, now I know what Mistletoe is actually supposed to be used for in this mod. I kind of want to give it a go. I want to try this as well. Electricity. Someone say electricity. T? Should have been called Ice Tea because it's fucking cold! Get stuff on these straight away. And I will be bringing in my own uh, gold leaf tiles, I think you'll find at some stage. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll just get a couple of mistletoes at the back, and I'll use that instead of fuzzy, because they do recharge hella quick. Let's try this electricity thing, like, there. What does it even do? 
it doesn't appear to be... Okay, so it didn't do a whole lot there until it died. Which is a bit... It almost seemed like it was working a bit like a an electric fat beat. It seemed like it was working like an electric fat beat, but it wasn't really doing anything until it died. And then it did something. The good thing about using mistletoe is it can actually hit across multiple lanes, unlike the banana launcher. Bomby granite doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Electricity. Just because it's there, so I might as well use it. Slow down. In fact, we'll do Celery Stalker as well. Um, just hit that. See, I'm doing that thing again where I try and do too many things at once and I'm not actually getting any kind of proper defense down. Well, like I'm piss assing about and not getting a lot done as a result. Really? You can't attack the tent from there? Celery Stalker, seriously? I need more lightning reads. And I need him quick. Put that there. I meant to put a sunflower there. I done bug it up slightly. Hold on. It's a shame it only takes out one. I would kind of wish it could take out more than that. That's it. Go on. Get them quick hands going. Farmy granite. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, this electricity thing really doesn't seem... It really doesn't seem worth it, does it? For what it does is... Yeah. It's not brilliant, is it? I should be using these. Why am I not using these? Put down my missile toes and I forget to use them because you have to manually do it. I, I keep saying this. Anything you want me to manually do, I won't do. I'll forget. I just go on autopilot. We somehow blagged our way through this one. Oh, now it does something. Okay. So just plant food it. I do like bomby granite, though. That is actually... It's kind of nasty seeing all the seeds scattered everywhere. I don't know why that's kind of making my skin crawl a little bit, but... Other than that, not bad. Ooh. See, that plant food is kind of like what I wish Lightning Reed's plant food was. I feel like the Thundercloud thing just takes a bit too long. What's this, level 9? Last stand on Neon Mixtape Tour. Busting the tunes out for this one. Who's that? Head teacher? 2000. What can I do for 2000? Let's. I think this whole repeat of tortured thing is not going to work. So, Team Yellow coming. They're sending the roller skaters. Sending most of the annoying shit, basically. It's interesting how I'm not allowed to use Melon Pulp, but I'm allowed to use Winter Melon Pulp. It's because they know I can only afford like three of them. So, do I just go Lightning Reed and just call it a day or. What's going to be the best way to take this? I would bring... I would possibly throw some spike weeds in, but I feel like the roller skater destroys them instantly, so I don't think that's going to be doable. Could bring Spore Shroom. I don't know what on earth that outfit is that I've got, but Spore Shroom can potentially create me more defense, but Spore Shroom is weak as piss, unfortunately. It's a bit like slapping someone with a bit of toilet paper, which can be effective in the right hands, but I don't think it's going to get me through this particular level. Lightning Reed, to start with, and it's just, let's see if we can do something with that. Oh, the Lightning Reeds, mate. The lot of them. Get them all in there. Let's see if it holds. Not a bad one to start off with. Oh, they're sending the arcade machines in already? I'd like to think they will be quite easy to deal with because surely the chain lightning damage is going to kill them way before... Ah, oh, see these guys. Ah, uh, the Crash Bandicoots. They're going to be a problem. Well, bugger. I was thinking, like, the guys pushing the arcade machines will probably get killed by the chain lightning before the arcade machines get destroyed, but... Actually, that kind of is what's happening. A little bit. I don't suppose I could impeach the arcade machine and stop it from spawning stuff. I don't suppose that's a thing, is it? I don't really know. We got some emergency plant foods, if need be. 
they'll hopefully help us get through. So this is... Um... Oh, she swaps lanes. I see. That is effectively dad dancing, by the way. But Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, please. No. The buckhead. Yeah, that's it. Good. Excellent. But we're going to have words then. Just send me in the final wave and I'll hit all of them. I'll just fire off all three of these plant foods. I just want to wait till the last second. Okay. Four of them. Where's my mouse? My mouse be doing that sometimes. It just vanishes. And I'm like, what the fuck is it? I'll be like trying to click something. I'm like, hang on, my mouse is gone. You can't see it anyway, but here it comes. Final wave. Let me see the words. There it is. That should do the trick. As much as I would love to sit here and listen to the best song of all of them, I don't want to lose. So I wouldn't have anyway. I have my lawnmowers. I could have just... I could have let them do whatever the hell. I could have deleted my entire defense and just let them... Let them done their thing and I still would have won. That would have been disrespect. Final level. Let's get it. The second half of these have been way quicker than the first half, actually. And we're ending it on Jurassic Marsh with one of my favorite level archetypes of all time. Oh, sorry. Did I say favorite? I meant least favorite. I hate these ones. Fuzzy, though. Not complaining. You know how to get me to tolerate one of these levels. I'll give you that. See, when we actually get to Jurassic Marsh in this mod, it's going to hit a bit different because I think each of the worlds has 10 new levels. Jurassic Marsh has way more. I think Jurassic Marsh is like 16 new levels. That one's going to be... That's going to take ages. We a good few episodes on that one. I forget what the hot date does. I cannot remember what it does. I want to say they eat the thing and then it... Let's find out. It draws them to that lane and then it jalapenos them. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hot date. She's not going to let you fuck. Amazing that one survived. One of them died instantly and one of them just straight up didn't even lose his bucket or anything. Cone. Okay, I forgot that Fuzzy cancels out the... Uh, cancels out Rexy's effect. That's good. That's a relief. This one seems easy enough. I mean, I'm handling it pretty much the best that I could. Not bad. I badly need Speedo Johnny here. Quick. Okay, good. Cancel it, cancel it. I need one. I need one right now. Okay, I'm going to have to just put Fuzzy there. Could you just, like, give me one, please? There we go. Finally. Now we can chill. I still haven't finished this. I don't even need that plant food. Keep it. Have it on me. I'll even throw in an extra little hot date for the Imp Gantua. Let's do that again. See, it's like a it's like a giant imp with a mini gargantua in its back pocket. That's uh, get the joke. It's like a gargantua but backwards. Are we sure? I'm going to be able to live this one. Yes, because I can do this. <laughs> I do love that feature, I have to say. And that is level 10. Cough up my 25 gems, please. 25. Like, it couldn't have been 25 each. I don't know why I'm complaining. I don't even have anything that I can spend gems on in this. Unless I use them in, like, the Zen Garden. I planted a load of stuff in the Zen Garden. I still haven't even used that. Let me go and show you. I'm pretty sure I've got a full I've got a full garden full of stuff. We've got boosted electricity. And I haven't used any of this stuff. So regardless, I think that is going to call it a day. I said we do the 10 levels. We did the 10 levels. First half of that took a while. Second half was uh, a little bit quicker. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>